It has been said that the four most feared words in the English language are Mike Wallace is here. With good reason. For 35 years, Mike Wallace has been the grand inquisitor of CBS's 60 Minutes. His ability to dismantle interview subjects, the rich, the influential, the deceitful, with a withering fire of questions, utterly changed our modern views of the media. So let's turn to the fact file. Mike's real name is Myron. He was born in Massachusetts at the end of World War I, the son of a Ukrainian grocer. Grew up down the street from John Kennedy and got his first radio job in Michigan. Did quiz shows, commercials, talk shows, even acted on Broadway briefly. In 1968, he turned down an offer to work for Richard Nixon, and that was fortunate because the same year he joined a new show called 60 Minutes. It would take a very long time to chronicle all of the many accomplishments of Mike Wallace, but we'll do our best. Thanks for joining us here today. Pleasure, I think. What do you think about your future? Let's start with that first. Contract is running down. Everybody wants Contract to know if you're going to retire. Running down. Contract will be up a year from now. Well, that's running down in my book. <laughs> are you going to quit or are you going to keep going? I probably, probably quit by then. Probably quit? Probably quit, yeah. I'll, but I'll find other things to do, but... Well, well, you, you love reporting still. Love. Love it. But the grind of doing, even though you love the grind, the grind of 60 minutes all these years. An 80, it'll be then, I'll, an 85 or an 86-year-old man does not want to get on long plane trips. And I just don't want to do it just in New York. That will be for so many of us who love this business, both those of us in it and those at home watching it, that will be the passing of an era. Oh, knock it off. Oh, of course it will be. Believe me. <laughs> I mean, it's very flattering and it's lovely to hear, but it's not the passing of an era. It's, 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 we did an extraordinary thing. We were fortunate enough to come along at the right time and do a good job of investigating, of looking behind the facade, of asking questions that were on the mind of America, questions that they hadn't heard put by reporters before. Imam President Sadat of Egypt, a devoutly religious man, a Muslim, says that what you are doing now is, quote, a disgrace to Islam. And he calls you, Imam, Forgive me, his words, not mine. A lunatic. And you could see the object of scrutiny squirming a little. Is that why 60 Minutes has been the most successful news magazine show of all time? Mm -hmm. That Basically, that is the reason. Basically, because Hewitt, Don Hewitt, who the executive the show, producer. he was the first guy to say it. It's telling a story. Get an interesting character. Tell a good story, something that says, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's wonderful. You mean to say that that's the kind of story that we like to tell. And if you can get good characters to tell that story with, took us about five years to find our way. Nobody was watching at the time. And then suddenly in, the, in 71, 72, 73, people began to watch. Well, your casting from the beginning was what? You were told... You are to be what? The black hat. The hat. bad guy. The black hat. The, the uh, Harry Reasoner was the white hat. He was going to be the sole anchor of 60 Minutes from the beginning. And somebody said, you know something? He's the heart of America. He's wonderful on the air. But it, it needs a little grit beyond Harry Reasoner. And was that a role you were eager to take on? Damn right. There was no better attack interviewer in the country what than you. What do you mean attack? Well, atta you know what attack means. The thing that made corporate bosses sit across from you and say, oh my gosh, it's Mike Wallace. All I did was, was do a little research or have other people help me and do a little research and I could prove that this person over here was a bit of a crook. Is that attacking somebody? That's reporting and putting somebody on a spot. Yeah, but you did it in a way. All the other reporters were reporting the same thing. You said yourself 
to be a good reporter, a successful reporter, popular reporter, you have to be a bit of a performer. You said there are plenty of great reporters who have never reached your renown because they're just good reporters. That, that has nothing to do with attack or not attack. If you are a performer, that means that you take stage. One of the best performers I know is Ed Bradley. When you watch Bradley interviewing somebody, when you watch Bob Simon interviewing somebody, they take command of the tube. You're virtually inside his, their head, their heads. That's, that's what I mean. Performer, there's not, a writer will have a certain style and you'll want to read him. You'll want to read him because he will take your attention. There's, there's nothing wrong with being a good performer, and I've learned some of that technique along the way. But there's nothing wrong with being hard either and pushing in. Oh, hell no, but that's not attacking.